So I really only have just one goal, one vision for the year is... girl Nally Lee being authentically me period you can call me Nally or Naya either one is fine with me and if you are a new subscriber welcome I always forget to welcome all my new subscribers thank you guys so much for joining the family and of course if you're a returning subscriber you already know what it is how you doing girl and if you are not subscribed next no i'm just joking i'm just joking <laughs> if you are not subscribed then what are you doing okay i need you to press the subscribe button right now join the family we're all loving over here and of course click that like comment and of course share if you really do love my content and thank you guys for watching so i just wanted to get on here really quickly and do my last video of 2021 and i actually was meant to do this as a get ready with me but then i don't know what it is y'all my get ready with me is i used to that used to be my favorite part of recording and it still is I love doing it but lately we just been we haven't been clicking so I just had to quickly film this all over again and just really come and talk to you guys about my one goal for 20 look at me I'm like one goal and I have two fingers up my one goal for 2022 so if you want to find out what that one goal is make sure you guys stick around and watch to the end without further ado let's just get right into it let's go okay so normally for the new year i'm super super excited which i am super excited still but i am a total vision board girl okay that is she that is i that is me okay and if you are like that comment that is we okay <laughs> because i just love just doing vision boards setting up the goals for the new year and i actually didn't start being interested in vision boards i used to think they were so stupid but then my sister was the one that really put me on and she was like no girl i'm telling you it's so good I don't know like for the year of 2022 it's just a different type of vibe for me I don't know if it's you know just this whole idea of this manifestation thing and like when I hear people talking about like I manifested that I manifested that and name it and claim it it's just <sighs> okay I'm sorry I'm sorry if you feel offended but um we gonna talk about that in another video, okay? But you know, sometimes when you get into this idea of doing vision boards, sometimes you're just throwing things on there and you're like, I want this guy and I want that guy. And I never ever wanna be in a place where I look at God as like almost like this genie that is like snap, like you say you want good things for me, so these are the good things that I want. Like please make it happen and I think when you're first starting out doing those things it's kind of like oh I can put anything I want I mean no harm in it let me just throw it on there but I think once you really start to just build a relationship with God and you understand the importance of doing things and desiring after things that he wants for your life that's where the real joy and fun comes in doing vision boards because you're not just throwing anything on there but you're really praying and you're seeking God and you're putting things on there that show a reflection of the visions and the plans that he has for you and I know there are some Christian women that also do that as well really pray and ask God like what are your plans for me and not just for the year but also just for your my life like what is the will and the purpose that you have for me and of course it's to serve you and to know you and to read your word and to be a Christ ambassador but how what other ways would you like me to do that according to my uniqueness and just who you have created me to be and so and just sometimes things that you really have been praying God for and you feel like God is leading you in that direction God help me to you know have the wisdom to do this or help me you know get into school or things like that so I just wanted to make sure that I emphasize that part of it and this is not any way shape or form like shade for people who do vision boards because I do think that it is a really fun thing I just knew for me personally this year I only had one goal and so I really wasn't gonna do one but my sister was like no you don't have to like throw a million and one things on your vision board and don't like overthink it and sometimes you know I get that way so I really only have just one goal one vision for the year and that one goal and vision is it's really gonna be anticlimactic, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That one goal and vision is to really just draw closer to Christ and also begin to serve him in everything that I do in my everyday living, in every aspect of my life. 
and that is it you guys and okay let me just explain to you the beauty of this goal and vision for 2022 and I intimacy and relationship with God is truly such a beautiful thing and I have learned that through my walk with him like it's just something that I'm so desperate for even more and I have I know that I have broken so many that God has broken so many boundaries and walls and just have given me so many things that I have prayed for in terms of my relationship with him guys I used to pray all the time God help me with biblical knowledge help me with understanding help me remembering scriptures I remember I used to feel so bad and just like I don't know this stuff like I don't know how I used to feel like I couldn't speak on things and I couldn't really understand like why God even wanted me to do stuff like this because I'm like God, I don't even know your word that much like please help me to not just read it just to read it but to really understand it gain wisdom gain knowledge and just to understand you more through scripture and the way that I used to I used to pray about it for years and literally God started working those things out I really started to just have a completely different mindset and heart posture when I was reading my word and now I am like in love with reading my bible I have like my own little personal cute bible that has like journaling on the side so I'll link it down below if anyone's interested in doing it because when I read I'm able to highlight but also I take my notes on the side to like remember this is a really great scripture to remember or this is a beautiful like way that God has worked this out like it's also history but it's also the story of salvation so it's just like it's something that I really enjoy doing and so what I knew that I wanted to pursue in 2022 was just even deeper. God, take me even deeper. God, bring me even closer. I want to know your heart even more. And this is not to say that I'm going to be just sitting in a room with my Bible in a corner and like, leave me alone. But no, it's <laughs> the idea behind this is that the closer that you get to God, the more intimate that you get to God, the more relationship that you build with him and reading his word and understanding who he is as our savior, understanding who he is as someone that loves you, the more that the things in your life begin to line up and your steps are ordered. You understand what I'm saying? You know, I prayed for wisdom and, and, and that's just the beauty of prayer too, because I was praying for wisdom. I was asking God, please give me wisdom. And what I started to realize is that wisdom is not just something that you can grasp and say okay now I'm wise and I know this and I know that what God has revealed to me is that when you get to know me I am wisdom I am that I am I am all those wonderful amazing things and ask and I will give it to you but here's how you're gonna get it not by just waking up one day and being wise but because when you get to search me when you get to know me when you read my word when you get closer to me all these things shall be added unto you all these things then begin to produce fruit in your life and so really my whole point and plan of 2022 is just to really grow in God, serve him, and in that way, everything else in my life will align up the way that it's supposed to be. And, I, and when I say in every aspect, I'm talking like extremely practical terms. Like how can I serve God when I am like thinking of eating? Like how can I serve God when I'm thinking of how I do my videos or do my makeup? Like how can I serve God? What are the lessons in this? Yeah, so don't get it twisted. Your girl's gonna be out here working, okay? She's gonna be still working. She's still gonna be doing. We work not for grace, we work because of grace. And I really wanna embody that scripture, everything that you do, do it as if you are doing it unto the Lord. And so that is really just my main goal. Everything that I do, I'm gonna do it as if I'm doing it unto the Lord. And does that mean that I'm gonna be perfect? Does it mean that I'm not gonna fall short? Does it mean I'm not gonna fail? That I'm still not gonna have moments of weakness that I still will sin? No. Um, wait, I don't know. Is it yes or no? I don't even remember what I asked. But either way, no, whatever I said, I'm still gonna fall short because at the end of the day, that's that's me as a human, that's me as a person, that's me the person just having weaknesses and challenges in life. And it's not to say that I need to embody like this imp this perfect, you know, fixture of what it should look like. It just means that I'm just going to authentically, as I always say, serve God and be who I am, mistakes and all, and really just chase after him. And that's really it. So I'm actually going to do, end up doing a vision board, which I didn't plan to, but I'm just going to do it just for that one particular vision. And you know what I also want to say? Like Sometimes the things that you 
that God has given you a vision for that you've been praying about, everything has its due season. So don't get discouraged if you're looking at like last year's vision board. Even pray and say, God, what on this board was not in your will? Like help me to figure this out so I know which direction to go in, not just for the new year, but every single day of my life. And really pray and seek God out and ask him, okay, God, what is the purpose and the plan and the vision that you have and that you want me to do as a Christ ambassador? Yeah, and I definitely want to know what are some of your 2022 goals, um, if you have any, or if you're just kind of keeping it simple like me <laughs> this year, you know, definitely comment down below. I would love to know that. And I do pray and I hope that you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful new year. And for anyone that may, you know, be a little sad or may have lost a loved one, I pray for God's peace and comfort and blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. So I just pray that you feel God's love and peace with you, that you are surrounded by loved ones. And even if you may not have family with you in this time, that really just God just sits with you and that you feel his warmth and just know that he loves you and that he cares for you and that this too shall pass. So super excited for the new year. I can't wait. This is the last video of 2021. Hello 2022. I don't know what to expect. We, we gonna trust God and see what happens. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the new year. Like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.